Would you consider going back to having one job or having a traditional job? Well, at this moment of time, I wouldn't consider to get back to where I used to be. I would like to be a slashy. Would you consider returning to a regular full-time job? Definitely not. Not everybody can be a doctor, an astronaut, and a Navy SEAL all rolled into one, but with the rise of the gig economy and as more people work from home, the traditional 9-to-5 job is no longer the only option. Whether by choice or necessity, more people are now opting to take on side hustles. I'm here in Hong Kong and I'm going to find out more about this phenomenon, also known as the slashy culture. So what is a slashy? A slashy is a person who chooses to develop multiple careers concurrently instead of focusing on just one at a time. This is also known as a portfolio career or diversified employment. The term slash was coined by American author Marcy Albaher, who wrote about people who had slashes between their multiple and concurrent job titles. It describes a new mode of working that prioritizes work-life balance and job satisfaction. And while this may sound like a trendy new culture bubbling up amongst 20-somethings, 44-year-old Gary Chung from Hong Kong is proof that it is age agnostic. He's a Taekwondo instructor slash sports product sales trainer. That's after he quit his full-time job in 2014 when he worked in finance and product management. I decided to be a slashy because working in Hong Kong, the overtime work, the intensity, I couldn't stand it for quite a long time. So I decided to jump out from a traditional job to be a slashy. 31-year-old Hugo Ho is a former athlete who has two slashes to his name as a personal trainer, social entrepreneur, and financial planner. I enjoy being a slashy because I can have my flexibility on the job choice. And I feel so refreshed that I can have my time reset all day long and like I can choose whatever I want because this is the freedom I can have. What potential risks are there in being a slashy? Actually holding different positions can also mean various like failure at the same time. So make sure they have the preparation on their income. They may lose all their income, but if they are passionate about one thing, I think they can handle the risk. The stakes are higher for Gary, who is a father of two. As a staff in a traditional company and a traditional firm, I've got benefits like medical, insurance, monthly base income. But as a slashy, I have to lose all this. It's quite a big risk. Can you tell me what is the biggest difference if you're being a slashy or if you are holding a regular job? What would be the biggest difference between the two? Wow, I cannot tell one single main difference, but I would say there'll be a lot of differences. First of all, as a slashy, I have to be disciplined because there's no boss, no management to ask me to trace that line. Secondly, I really have to know my business inside out because as a slashy, I'm mainly an army of one. I have no colleague. I have to handle everything all by myself. There's really no backup. As a staff of a company, I always got backup, right? Does this mean that the slashy generation will be a jack of all trades and a master of none? Or does it improve their employability? For many employers, old habits die hard and their willingness to hire a slashy depends on the role. Vicky Fan, CEO of professional services firm Mercer Hong Kong, has seen this firsthand. Having a resume or a CV that is from a slashy versus a number of other CVs where people are available full time would just make the employer question whether or not the person can commit and dedicate on a full-time basis. So employers, in order to really use gig workers and slashies more fully, employers need to look at jobs from a task and process based, an hour based, time based to output based. The pandemic has forced employers to be more flexible with work arrangements. More than 80% of firms globally said that they will implement flexible working at a larger scale even after the pandemic. But are employers willing to continue hiring slashies once things have settled down? If the employer does not need employees on a full-time basis, so we spoke about certain sectors that were harder hit, like retail and hospitality. If their need of that employer is pulled back, 
there will be more openness to those roles or individuals in those roles exploring other avenues of income. But if you're in an organization where it's still working as pre-pandemic work levels, we're not seeing employers opening up the options for their employees to look for other part-time jobs on top of that. These jobs are not your traditional professions either. From becoming an e-commerce seller to even podcasting, many people are in it for the flexibility and the passion. We can all see that it is a very prominent trend with the advance in information and communication technology. People can easily seek different career opportunities at little cost. But unlike those who make a living only because they have to like doing as casual workers, Snatchy actually do it, have to choose their job paid or unpaid because related to their choice and their interest. To me, it is not just a changing angle to life. It is a lifestyle choice rather than to changing their jobs only. Do you think that there's going to be more people that do what you do and this will become a trend, a slashy will become a trend in, around the world? Yes, I do think so, especially nowadays, there's a lot of people who want to be YouTuber, internet influencer. And like I said, people looking for work-life balance a lot more than, than used to be. So I do think that would be a trend. The slashy culture also plays well into another so-called millennial trait, FOMO, or the fear of missing out. While it allows slashies to commit to different passions, not everybody is cut out for it. What kind of advice would you give to people that want to take on more than one job? You got to have some money, <laughs> financially ready. Because at first, I remember 2014, once I quit my job because of Slashy, I think I was earning only one third of my salary so that I have saved some money to feed myself, to feed my family during that period of time. After one year, I was getting better. You really have to know your business inside out. Thirdly, discipline is the key because you're a boss of your own. You can plan your schedule, your work all by yourself. While it is likely that the slashy work culture is here to stay, questions remain about how sustainable it is in the long run. Hi guys, thanks for watching. Do you have a side hustle? What do you think of the slashy culture? Let us know in the comments below. In the meantime, don't forget to subscribe to our channel.